Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Zakizil here and tonight I'll be reacting to Space Marine vs. AT-AT Animation by Full Moon Studios. I haven't actually checked out anything by them before and this, has, and this one wasn't actually requested either. It just happened to show up in my recommended so I figured I'd check it out. Um, as always a link to the original video will be in the description box below and you should totally check out the original video as well but without further ado let us begin storm pooper come down here and face me well i've never heard that in insult used for a stormtrooper before so his is his visor, er, and the, and the uh, grates for it's for the mouthpiece on the helmet are so white. Name calling, really? That's the best you could think of. What's next? You're gonna make more stormtroopers can't aim jokes. Now that you mention, you know, stormtroopers not being able to aim is quite funny because, if I remember correctly, they're both said to be very accurate in the movies, and also in, in some of the comics, they are quite accurate as well. It's just, you know, whenever they're shooting at a main character, just suddenly they can't, can't land a shot. Which, it's both on one hand, it's like, fair enough, I heard that, that apparently they were supposed to allow Han, Leia, and uh, Luke, etc., escape the Death Star so they could follow them back to the Rebel base. So that's why they're missing on the... back on the Death Star. But at the same time, there's also that theory some people have that of, that Luke had some passive ability to use and was just slightly throwing off their aim, and that's why they couldn't shoot, shoot straight at him, like, outside of that scene. Jeanette? I bet you can't even take a piss without missing. Ha ha ha. That one's not even unique to stormtroopers, if my experiences with public bathrooms are any, are any indication. Mr. Space, please love me, Daddy Marine. You know you guys are basically just roided up teenagers with daddy issues, right? Anyway. You know, considering what the Horus Heresy was like and the reasons why so many space like Space Marines turn traitor, that is very accurate for quite a few legions. Isn't sending a Space Marine to fight a normal human overkill? Anything we send against your puny empire is overkill. That is technically true when you consider, for example, how insanely powerful a LAS gun is. Where it's like Sure, I've I've heard that in some portrayals of, of a Star Wars blaster that a that a uh, I think it was the DC fifteen was it was that the long barreled ones that the clone use yeah that those ones that they had enough power in a shot to blast out a like basically take a good blast out of concrete which is quite powerful. However, the low velocity of a blaster leaves much to be desired. And a so so a LAS gun is, by comparison, just a better blaster. It's instantaneous, it's pinpoint accurate, it, and because and because well, because it's, you know, instantaneous, you don't have to worry about, about missing because your target moves slightly over long range. range. Also, if that if it hits, if a las if a las gun shot hits unprotected flesh, it will flash boil the water in the area and basically explode your arm off, which is a similar effect actually to a fifty cal round. Now stop being a wuss and come down here and face me. You mean leave my twenty meter tall? heavily armored war machine to fight a fanatical superhuman with a pissy attitude? Yeah, yeah, I'll pass, thanks. You know, he does make a good point about not wanting to leave, leave the 8080 
Although, given the fact that he is an ultramarine and probably has the power of Matt Ward on his side, I wouldn't be surprised if he just walked up to it, picked it up, and started swinging it around. You think that thing can protect you? We have titans that make your puny dog mech look like a child's toy. That is also oh, true. Oh, really? Then bring one of your war machines in to crush me. It's okay. I'll wait. Are you sure about that? Considering how long it can take for astropathic communication to go through, and ooh, and then also for the bureaucracy of of the Imperium and the Adeptus Mechanicus to deal with all that, you could potentially end up waiting, well, centuries for that, or you could end up waiting an entire millennium. It's the warp is weird because because even after you get you get approval to bring the thing in who knows was what time you'll even get it you could get it instantaneously if you're lucky or basically never uh wait you have to ask the mechanicum for tech support don't you sure you want to wait 300 years while they put you on hold and inevitably forget about you the Actually, wait, now I think about it, doesn't Ultramar have its own resident, um, Titan Legion that in there that helps the Ultramarines? Logistics don't matter! Our war machines just need to look cool and be totally overpowered! Maybe we don't <laughs> have fancy Titans or Dreadnoughts or whatever, but at least we know how to build our weapons of mass destruction without needing an STD. It's STC, <laughs> Storm Poopa, and it's an advanced data. Well, they didn't need an STC, but they did require a lot of Wookiee slaves. Although, to think about, like, how quickly they, were, they actually managed to make progress on the Death Star 2 was kind of stunning, actually. Both the Death Star 1 and Death Star 2, because the Death Star 1 was being built during the Clone Wars. And. By, and they, what they had essentially was a skeletal structure of it by the end of the Clone Wars. So they basically completed that thing in between the end of the Clone Wars and, well, you know. The base containing the sum total of human technological achievement. They're, they're highly important artifacts. Yeah. Yes, because humanity has forgotten how to science in 40k. Are you sure it's not STD? Because that's what your Imperium's like. Totally unwanted and impossible to get rid of. Enough of this! <laughs> Wait, where are you going? To drink blue milk while flying through real space at the speed of light, without it taking 50 years. Later, loser. To be fair, here, the, aff the aforementioned thing about the warp and how it's weird like that, yeah, it, it can take... A very, very long time to do any sort of, of warp travel, or it can take basically no time at all. Or you can even end up, up coming back out before you even left, and then now there's two of you. Did... did he just retreat? Huh. This doesn't usually happen. I guess that's a victory by default, then. Which, well, it's still a victory. But that was a fun watch. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. And if you did, I appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe. But for now, have a nice night. Bye.